Advisor. We want to give you the best possible workflow for creating VR so that you can focus on content rather than technical details. Let me show you the process for creating a web VR museum experience for the National Gallery in London. Here we are creating an interactive story around National Gallery's Sainsbury Wing. This is constructed from 360 images shot within the gallery and linked together so that the user can view the gallery from different locations. For interaction, we bring in media screens to give the viewer additional information about these beautiful paintings. And like that, we are done. We shall publish this now and the WebVR experience is fully embeddable and shareable over the web. Let's have another look around and focus a little at the beautiful dome overlay screens. They will look perfect on every target device, web native on mobile and desktop and fully benefiting from React VR rendering in VR. Easy but super powerful. Now let's hear what Chris Michaels from the National Gallery thought of the process. You're only going to get scale, quality and be able to really take the opportunity of this media if you can do things easily. That's been the history of the web, right? Is there's the points where you can do things easily, both as creators and as consumers, where people start to use it. Uh, and what we can see with Visor is you can, and what we're doing here is you can do suddenly do something really fast, create some content, layer it with material over the top, and do that in a matter of hours. 